Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 4. Today we're going to be talking about last night's episode, episode 17, titled All About Eve. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so last night's episode was really good. I really liked it. I thought it really worked. I did have a few problems, but coming off of last week, like... I was on such a high and this episode overall really delivered, I thought it was a really great episode and we're going to be breaking it down, talking about it, you know, talking about the bits I really liked, talking about the bits I thought were good and talking about the very minute sort of queries I had and they were mainly at the start of the episode so it got much better as it went on. So just quickly before we start this, I want to say sorry for that. April Fool's video last night that posted that was just a funny thing that came into my mind and I was talking to my friend about it and we were just sort of cracking up and when I was recording the video I had to keep on cutting because I was just dying and I felt so bad and I still feel so bad for getting your hopes up I would have just killed me if I was you know watching the video and I wasn't the one making a video I, it was so cruel but it was funny at the same time so sorry about that but let's get into this review. So at the start of the episode, we see Lena and everyone finds Lena. So that being Alex mainly. And so Lena's trying to reveal some information, but Alex is just being all comforting. And so, yeah, that's how we start the episode. And Supergirl and John at the same time are looking for Lex Luthor. They're in the air and they have no sign of him. So this episode, there was no Lex Luthor at all. And that was like one down part of the episode because I really like Lex Luthor. Like, I don't like him. He's one of my least favorite Superman villains. Like, I think he's way overrated. But John Cryer as Lex Luthor in the last two episodes in Supergirl, I was super impressed. So I was kind of sad that he wasn't in it, that he was only referenced. But, you know, I guess they had some sort of contractual thing. But he'll be back by the end of the season. They've confirmed he's going to be in the finale. So, yeah, my one sort of query with the start of the episode was that John, just like, as always... He's so underestimated as a character as Martian Manhunter, but he actually comes around and he becomes the full Martian Manhunter that he was supposed to be. So now, fingers crossed from now on, he's not going to be underestimated and so weak. Because every time he tries to use his powers, he gets beaten by someone. Like, whether it's anyone, he always gets beaten. He's, you know, not able to read someone's mind because it's protected or something like that. Or he just falls over like he did. So that is a query throughout like the entirety of Supergirl uh, in the entirety of the series so I think they rectified it by the end of the episode with him revealing that I am the Martian Manhunter alright so I'm gonna skip a bit and we're going to head back to the stuff earlier in the episode and midway through the episode but we're going to go right to the end because this is the stuff that you want me to talk about and I want to talk about because Oh my god, that ending was amazing. So we didn't have much Red Daughter in this episode, but she had the best scene in the episode. So the Alien Amnesty Act was surprisingly repealed just out of nowhere. The senator said, oh, we're not going to do it. We're not going to vote for you. But she did it. And in that same telecast or, you know, TV show, TV program, when they were showing it on the news, Eve silly showed herself. And obviously it was on purpose so that Supergirl would see her and come there and come to the White House in order to, you know, be framed for this essentially, so she could actually lock her up in this Lex suit that she uses in the episode. So Supergirl's stuck as Red Daughter assumes the identity of Supergirl. She has the full on suit and everything, and she has the best scene in the episode. And so while Supergirl is in the Kryptonite suit, she's been, you know, engulfed with Kryptonite and then the lights go out and oh my God, she breaks through the freaking ground and she kills everyone and she says, let them hate so long as they fear. And she does this little smirk. Oh my God. I was there like, oh, I love the scene. It really was amazing seeing her pretend to be Supergirl. This is Red Daughter just to reiterate. Pretend to be Supergirl, kill all these people, destroy the freaking White House. Like what? That is amazing. That is crazy. So no one is going to trust Kara now. Well, to trust Supergirl. And so Kara supposedly sees this figure in the air. She doesn't know who it is. 
but from the news reports, she definitely has seen that it's a version of Supergirl. Well, it's really just kind of silhouetted, so she doesn't know. Maybe there's some first-hand pictures of Supergirl actually right there, but they know it's Supergirl, but Kara, I don't think, saw her face-to-face, -face, so she hasn't technically met Red Daughter yet, but she was in the same vicinity, and I think Kara, when she looks up, she saw a figure whilst she was obviously just before she flew off and she saw you know her heat vision destroying the white house simultaneously while she was stuck in lex luther's special suit and so she destroys the white house like oh my god that was such an amazing scene really affecting and it has massive ramifications going forward so no one will trust supergirl anymore and as it said near the end of the episode supergirl is public enemy number one and she, he's declaring martial law. This is a president who no one likes, by the way, as I keep on saying. And she, he calls it terrorism, which it is. And Supergirl is in the shit bag right now. Like, even worse than when she was Red Kryptonite, Kara. Because this time, she's destroyed the White House. And you know how Americans will take that. So, Alex and Haley, as it says later in the episode, they don't believe it's Supergirl. Supergirl would not do something like that, and I was kind of surprised that Haley agreed, but obviously Alex has the hint, because they know Supergirl is calculated. Even though sometimes she gets angry, she would not do that, and so they believe in some way that Kara, or Supergirl in this case, because Alex still doesn't know that she's Kara, would never do that. And so we get this scene at the end of the episode that I thought was just a really nice addition, so Kara's on the sofa, she's calling Jean, she looks really sad. I think Melissa did an excellent job in this episode, especially like I said, playing Red Daughter in that scene with that smirk and that smile. Oh my god, I loved it. And also, as Kara, as in these last scenes, and then when she turns up with Alex and Lena, when they are working together, she's like, oh, have you called me here to be arrested? And they're like, no. We believe you, you didn't do this. So they obviously have the gut instinct, well, specifically Alex and specifically Lena, because none of them were there, but they trust Supergirl. They trust that she would not do such a thing, that there is some sort of imposter. So I don't think at first they're going to sort of jump on any gun about this, but I think for now, Supergirl is still going to remain public enemy number one, and I cannot wait to see what happens next. And so Lex Luthor in this episode it's revealed he's behind everything. Obviously we knew. But they all get the revelation that Lex is linked to Lockwood. And Lex actually was able to bring back Otis. So we get the reveal of how Otis has returned. He actually did die. But they brought him back via some experimental technology that they were using. And it's in regards to Metallo. If you remember back from season 2. So that came back. We get this test subject attacking them and they destroy him and he's vaporized into nothing and so they've got this you know core of kryptonite that's what they're going to be using somehow i guess this is probably how they're going to be stopping lex and also how they're going to be stopping red daughter as well because they are both going to get affected by kryptonite surely if lex has the harinel in him surely He's going to get affected by kryptonite. You would hazard the guess. So I think they're definitely going to swing back around to that very soon. And so just to swing back to the start of the episode. Like I said, Ben Lockwood returns. So again, I'm not the biggest fan of him. I thought he was good at the start of the season. I think he's a bit repetitive. And this episode, he didn't really do anything. Apart from that last, last scene, I actually thought he was good. But that was so minuscule. So I don't know, I think it's about time he goes away, along with, say, Otis. I don't really care for Otis at all. And so Supergirl, at the start of the episode, she arrives with the DEO, and the alarm goes off, but then it's revealed it's Supergirl, and she has a peace offering. They work together, and so now, obviously, they can't work with her, but I think Alex is definitely 100% going to be working on the side, but D the DEO can't work with Supergirl for sure, because, you know, half of them aren't going to trust Supergo anymore and we're going to have some annoying things next episode especially in the trailer there's this one scene with that woman from James's work where she's always around she pops up every now and again and I really don't like her character I think the acting is not on point it's really unrealistic and it's really scripted 
she's just in like a few scenes, but she's very annoying. It's because of the acting that just doesn't shine through, and she is totally against Supergirl. And she had this weird snap at the start of this season when, you know, we got into the alien storyline, and she sort of snapped and was like, oh, roaches and stuff, and there was this alien who was working in Catco, and she was, like, abusing him. Yeah, she's just not good. She's not a good actor and not a good character, so <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that. That's one thing I'm not looking forward to because I've seen the trailer, which will break down probably later today or tomorrow. And so John's dad returns in this episode. It was amazing. It was a really nice surprise to see this season three reminder because, you know, he died at the end of the season, but this was inside John's like mindscape. And John has this massive breakdown in the episode. And so John's storyline was fine. It was good. I thought... David did a really good job with his performance. I thought he really, really brought it. And I just love seeing Moran around again. But it was all to build up to that I am the Martian Manhunter ending. And additionally in the episode, Supergirl, Alex and Lena go to meet Mary Tessmacher, who is the aunt of Eve. And we have this amazing scene when she opens the door. And they're all just there sort of smiling. And she's like, ladies? I really love that scene. That was really funny. Um, Alright, let's move on. So... Just the last couple of things in this episode, so we have this very brief scene with Eve and Red Daughter as they're undercover, you know, in Washington, so they're doing this stuff behind the scenes. Obviously, now she's been manipulated to think this way, to think that Supergirl and America is the worst, like they are the enemy. She is now under full control by Lex, essentially, and so she's doing all of this because of that attack last episode, and that episode was so good. I loved the Red Daughter origin story. And so we have this very brief interaction between Lena and Supergirl where they're at odds and they make up. So that was nice to see. And then the final thing that I want to talk about is that we are on break until April 21st. It was just announced today. So we've got a little break 20 days from now. So that's just over two weeks, just under three weeks. So we're going to be making videos in between. The Flash should be returning very soon on the 16th. So about two weeks to go until that so supergirl will be on the week after so again don't be on the lookout for new supergirl reviews or the actual episode because it's not going to be on but we're going to be doing separate theory videos so if you have any ideas and when we get new news we'll make videos so let me know in the comments down below so how did you like this episode let me know please be sure to leave a like and a comment also subscribe and turn on notifications if you are new so you don't miss any videos and just finally, before we end this video, please be sure to follow me on Twitter at the DC TV Show, also on Instagram at the DC TV Show to stay updated with me. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.